Hello guys, so uh, up to the previous video we learned how to make the Z board recognize our IP core, okay? And uh, also give us a virtual address, okay? So now it's time to make everything together, I mean, uh, we, sorry, it's time to put everything together and, uh, and now add the functionality, okay, that uh, controls the operations of our, uh, of our ALU uh, IP core, okay? So uh, now this device driver will be over, okay? For sure there will be some bugs still that I'm going to show you on the, uh, on the presentation. And uh, well, now let's get ready and start to, to play with our IP core and the board, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed, if you guys like it, give me a thumbs up. And uh, let's get started. Okay, guys. So uh, now that we are, we are able, okay, to make the kernel detect our IP core, okay. Now it's time to add the functionality that we had in the previous video, okay. But now with the virtual address. But before that, let's just uh, take a look again and what we did so far. So basically, we created an IP core, okay, that just handle this operation here. Here, so plus, minus, multiplication, and division, okay. And this IP core, okay, has uh, have uh, actually five re re control registers, okay. The A to put the the first operand, B to the second operand, the operation that we choose here, and here is the result. Plus a control uh, a control register that is used to start and check if the if the calculation is done, okay. Then. After we created this hardware, we tested, okay, so actually it worked. And then we create a, a device driver with Petal Linux, okay, that, that, well, that we use Petal Linux to actually recognize this hardware here, create a device tree, okay, and then we on, the, on our device driver skeleton, okay, at some point we call it the IO remap that actually map this physical address here to a virtual address, okay? And now the job basically will be that. Remember that on when, when we created the, uh, the bare metal application that controlled this guy, we basically just add the base address plus these offsets here, so 10, 18, 20, and 28, but based on our physical address, okay? Now, what we're going to do is basically uh, do the same thing, okay, but now using this virtual address that was given by the IO remap, okay, so uh, Here just the device so just to remember the device tree is responsible to say to the kernel the physical address of the IP and this and which device driver, okay, actually the device driver that we created in the skeleton that we will handle this hardware here, okay uh, Let's now, okay, let's jump to the, uh, to the presentation slides that I can explain a little bit with some pictures and some text to help you understand this a little bit more. And then let's go to the lab where we're actually going to merge this functionality, okay, to the device driver and see how it works, okay? Okay, guys, so before we jump to the code, let's just review a little bit what we did so far. So, we have here the, our simple IP core that just implement uh, ALU, okay? And uh, this guy here, it appears is connected to our CPU at this physical address, okay? And we learned uh, that through the device trees and platform, uh, and platform devices, okay? We can map this physical address to a virtual address in our kernel, kernel device driver. Uh, here, just some points that I would like to, to show to you guys before we jump to the code is that we have some uh, some registers, okay, that are just uh, mapped f uh, based on our base address, okay, through some offset. So let me just jump to this part of code. So here we have reg A, reg B, reg o op, reg C, and reg control, okay. A and B are uh, are the operands of our ALU, okay. Reg op is going to choose the the operation to be done. Reg C is where we're going to have the our result, and reg control we need to we use it, okay, to start or to verify uh, if the uh, the calculation is done, 
okay so basically this is not a device driver yet it's just uh, the bare metal version of our uh, of our P core okay here I just put this guy running on the zinc without no OS and it will just run okay okay guys so now that we just merge everything together in this in the simple model okay let me explain the most important parts okay so first let's just scroll to the to the probe callback okay and uh, we saw already in the previous class that the the idea of the probe callback is just to map okay and receive from the device tree the the physical address and then convert to a virtual address that's compatible with Linux okay at least in our in our device driver okay so here is basically the most important okay we we get the base address okay and then we just apply the the same offsets that we had in our IP core okay there is nothing fancy about that you just point arithmetic okay uh, the the dev write and dev read okay which are the callbacks that are going to be called when the uh, when the device driver is written or or, or read okay is basically the same that we saw in the in our second video we just uh, use an SSF to parse the the inputs okay by the way the right way to do this is to check if there is some uh, uh, some user error like division by zero or some stuff like that okay uh, what else that could be cool to have a look for sure this guy here uh, and uh, where this guy here basically let's start from this one that will be easier okay so this guy is basically the the callback that is going to be called when the when uh, when the sys class attribute from our driver is read okay so basically here we define an attribute called is busy okay and when this is busy is read for instance with a cat or something like this this uh, read some attribute callback will be called okay and basically just check if the if the IP core didn't finish his job okay uh, the other one is the is this guy here this callback park control that when you write to it is going to call this callback write some attribute okay and uh, basically will be this uh, after the calculate uh, the calculation is done if you sorry after the operands are set up if you send this equal character and you write for instance with an echo we, uh, on this attribute here okay what is going to do he's going to configure the the register operation okay uh, and then call IP start which is basically the let me just go here which is basically this uh, pointer operation here that is going to start our IP core okay uh, if you just remember a little bit what we did on the when we write the the bare metal version of our IP core is basically this we just write into this reg control okay and uh, this is going to start or check if the operation is done okay basically this is, is th that's it guys uh, I'm going to show now on the on the Z board the whole thing working okay and uh, hope you guys enjoyed okay guys so uh, let me just clear this window here to make it cleaner uh, the Z board is already booted okay let's just uh, configure here the Ethernet interface that gives this IP address for instance okay uh, so let us also here configure our own Ethernet interface as well in, in my host machine okay and uh, if everything is fine okay I think we are connected so uh, let's try to create a new window here and do an SSH as root to one and eight one two three zero, ten cool is running so we now 
in our board now in a, in the Z board. Let's just uh, clear this window here, okay? The the mesh, the, the mesh window, and uh, what we're going to do now? Okay, so here we have our uh, our actually our model built okay what we're going to do now is going we are going to do a uh, scp where the model has been uh has been compiled okay to our z board at the address lib modulus uh extra as this name of file here okay so we just put here the password and we copy to the to the z board okay so uh here in the in the ssh of the z board section okay what we can do is install our model okay so if you put ins mod slash lib oh sorry slash lib slash modules extra our guy here and we type the message just to see the kernel message we can see actually that uh, our, our model power up okay our, our, our device driver is started and called probably uh, actually called the probe method okay and uh, we can see that here is the address that we can open from the device tree okay mapped to this virtual address here okay so basically here is the virtual address that point to this guy, uh, sorry, here is the virtual address that points to this physical address and is where we create our device driver or device. Okay, so here we just map reg A, reg B, all the registers that we have in our IP. Okay, within an, off, uh, within an offset through this base here. Okay, so 10, 18, 20, and that's it. Okay, uh, so another thing that he, that is nice to check if we come here and uh, do a ls in dev we can see that here is our uh, is our device driver uh, actually our, our character device driver and if you go to the csfs sys class class toot we can see here the attributes that we created in the code okay okay guys so now that we have here <coughs> our z board so here is just the serial terminal and here is just an ssh uh, session to the z board what we can do is uh, let's test our ip core okay uh, actually the device driver on the uh, controlled by the ip core so let's start by uh, echoing this string okay to slash dev slash to device okay so if we can we can see here that now we receive some operation okay and the device is closed which is more or less what you program in the device driver so let's now uh, send this string here which is just the equal uh, character okay to is to slash sys class class to to the device and par control and we can see that now here that he really detect that operator one was 50 operator two two and the operation was multiplication and that the result was 100 okay actually you can see all these just by typing the mesh okay we can see this uh what the actually what the device driver did okay if you want to delete then you just put the mesh minus c okay so now let's try another operation let's say for instance uh, 500 by 3 okay and we want to see equal and we do a cut just to read the content of this guy here so 1050 50 hundred okay and here are the your output of the IP core and he actually detect everything so 550 okay uh, what else would, would be nice to check if we go to our sys uh, classes class toot and toot device we can see that we have some files here okay 
more interesting the part control okay is the one that we uh, that we can write or uh, our for instance our equal operator okay by the way this uh, in the past was used by the IO control but it's not the case anymore it's better that you send parameters okay through your uh, through the CFS okay so guys uh, just to finish this another uh, another cool stuff that we need to take a look is just go to this director here sys class class tooth tooth device okay and uh, here we have this uh, this attribute here that is only read that we created in code okay and uh, if you just do a cut to this guy is actually we can see the status of the uh, of the IP core okay so he isn't he is not busy okay so this is the end uh, we created just to summarize we created a device driver okay for a simple device that we just have a, a, an ELU okay that just do the operation sums retraction multiplication and division okay and uh next topic we're going to see about interruptions okay so hope you guys enjoyed if you like just give me a thumbs up and see you guys in the next video